Hi, my name is John Yates. I'm the president and instructor at Faith Bible Institute. And I would like to invite you to join with tens of thousands of Christians from churches around the world for an incredible, life-changing journey to the world's most exciting book, the Bible, the very words of God Himself. We're enrolling right now for semester two, the semester where we cover the Exodus, where we see the amazing calling of Moses at the burning bush, how Moses goes to Egypt and declares to Pharaoh, let my people go. We will then see the outpouring of the ten plagues on Egypt, and we will learn how each of those plagues was directed at a different false Egyptian god. We will even show you an ancient Egyptian manuscript that describes the ten plagues from the Egyptian perspective. We will give you archaeological confirmation of the Exodus from things such as ancient Egyptian monuments that describe the nation of Israel in Egypt at the time of the Exodus. And then we will see the amazing miracles of the crossing of the Red Sea and the journey to Mount Sinai where God from the fire of the mountain gives the Ten Commandments to Moses. We will then see the glories of the tabernacle. We will look at the meaning and message behind this mysterious structure including looking at the holy place and the holy of holies. We will study the furnishings of the tabernacle including the brazen altar where every sacrifice was a picture of the sufferings of our Savior. We will learn of the seven-tiered golden candelabra, the altar of incense, the table of showbread, and the brazen laver. And then, most of all, the ark of the covenant. We will learn how the Shekinah would come down upon the ark, how the blood was sprinkled between the cherubim on the mercy seat. And then within the ark, we will learn how the two tablets of the Ten Commandments were placed there, as well as the manna that fed Israel for the 40 years in the wilderness, and Aaron's rod that budded, confirming Aaron as the true priest of God. And then in the book of Leviticus, we will learn of the Levitical priesthood and sacrifices and the great feast day of Israel. We will learn the meaning of the mysterious garments of the high priest. And then in the book of Numbers, we see Israel come to the edge of the promised land, but fail to go in and be condemned to wander for 40 years in the wilderness. Then in Deuteronomy, they come back to the edge of the promised land, and Moses re-preaches the law to a brand new generation, and thereby completes the Jewish Torah, the books of Moses. We actually will look at one of the Dead Sea Scrolls containing the Ten Commandments from the book of Deuteronomy. And then in Joshua, we see Israel come across the Jordan on dry ground, around the walls of Jericho, and those walls come tumbling down. Then we see the great victories as they conquer the Promised Land, showing us the principles for the victorious Christian life today. And then, in the life of Jesus Christ this semester, we will learn of the amazing miracles, the message, and the ministry of our Savior. We will see His sufferings upon the cross. We will look at the details of Roman scourging and all that our Savior went through for you and for me. We will learn of how the nails were indeed driven into the hands of our Savior. We will show you archaeological confirmation of crucifixion as we see an ankle bone of a Roman crucifixion victim still bearing the Roman nails. Then we will see how the spear is driven into the side of Jesus Christ confirming His death and how that then our Savior is laid within the tomb and how on the third day that stone is rolled away and Jesus comes out victorious over death over hell and over the grave. Then we will see the giving of the Great Commission, which is fulfilled in the book of Acts, our final subject for this semester, where we see the Spirit outpoured in Acts chapter 2, the early church beginning to spread the gospel and facing persecution. Then we will look at the amazing Damascus Road conversion of the Apostle Paul, the missionary journeys where the gospel goes to the world. And we will learn from the early church how our church can turn the world upside down in our generation. That's this semester, and I certainly want to challenge you to go online right now and enroll, because I would love to see you in class.